I'm doing civil disobedience today because it's absolutely necessary to focus people's attention on the fact that the status quo, uh, the, the state of the healthcare system in these United States today, is unacceptable. And the major proposals uh, making their way through Congress, with the exception of the single payer bill, uh, HR 676 and Senate 703, uh, they are disgraceful, They're appalling giveaways to private insurance companies. Everybody's got a story of struggles with uh, for-profit private health insurance companies giving them lies and obfuscation and dragging their feet and denying benefits, denying claims. It's just unacceptable and it's time for extreme radical action in order to trigger real change. My name is John Heckman and I'm here today to try and push the government and the health industry toward a single-payer solution. I feel that a government option is good, it's not good enough, it's being watered down more and more to the point where it's going to be meaningless if it's passed. And it's time for people to take specific action to try and prevent that. How do you see the uh, health care reform um, impacting you know, your co-workers, friends, yourself? Well, just as an example for, for myself, I am a freelance computer technician. I pay over $500 a month to Atlantis Healthcare for my coverage. I have an artificial left eye, plastic left eye. I got my first one when I was 15 years old. It's 45 years old now. And Atlantis uh, will not pay for a new prosthesis for me. They say, you've got to pay for it out of your own pocket. That's $2,500 I can't afford, even when I'm paying these people over $500 a month. And that's shabby. That's really shabby. Great. Is there anything else you'd like to tell people today? Yes. Don't just settle for a public option. Push. Push every politician you know for single payer. Because that's what Canada has. That's what England has. It works. Uh, what's your name and why are you here today? Uh, my name is Sarah Durand and I'm here because I feel we need some counterweight to all the lobbyist monies coming from the insurance companies and other healthcare industries. And what are you going to do today? Well, I'm going to, for the first time in my life, risk arrest. And how does that feel? Well, I'm a little nervous about it. Uh, I'm a teacher. I thought I'd be back uh, to students tomorrow, but I hear I might not be. <laughs> so if we're taking a central booking, that could be 24, 28 hours. And so, what, um, how, how do you see this impacting your neighbors, your friends, your family? Well, I'm hoping to um, discuss on our college-wide listserv what I have done and why I think it's important, and I will be talking about that with my students as well. And hopefully um, other people will feel so inclined, because this is a, a civil rights issue of our era, and uh, as we saw before, civil disobedience was necessary in the past to achieve goals. And wh why do you think that people, um, why do you think that healthcare reform is so, has so few options right now? There's only, um, you know, it's like a big discussion between a public option and no public option at all. Well, I think there's been deliberate misinformation of people because it's easier to control people. The, the more easily, the less they know, the more easily they are controlled. And, uh, those um, representatives who are receiving money from the uh, healthcare um, industries, insurance, big pharma, um, hospital associations, uh, they, they would prefer their constituents really do not understand the issues. Anything you'd like to tell people that are watching that you haven't said already? Well, I think uh, the more people who act, um, the easier it becomes and uh, the better we feel about ourselves and our democracy. I'm here today out of self-interest. I, I need medical coverage and I want it for every single person I know. What's your personal situation? Can you talk about that? Well, I've been with that coverage for about 15 years and when I went for charity medicine at a clinic they really messed me up. So I'm not going back to charity medicine, so I think I'm kind of going blind in one eye. But I'd rather I go blind in one eye than be blinded in both. My name is Stephen Chinland. I'm a retired Episcopal priest, 
and I'm here because we should have Medicare for everybody. In particular, I'm here for a young woman named Annie, 24, came through hard times, parents drug addicted, she persevered, grandparent, etc., got a job, some college, library, slipped on a manhole cover in the rain and hurt her leg. So now she needs a minor operation to fix her leg, and because she no longer is employed by New York City, she doesn't have insurance. So she can't get the operation. And it's just awful to try to find a job and maybe find a husband when you're limping. Just crazy that we're not taking care of Annie. Could I speak with Mr. William J. Golden, the um CEO of United Health New York. All right. Well, I want to ask him if um, he will immediately approve doctor-requested treatments for uh, um, medically necessary, life-threatening conditions. I want him to immediately approve those. Will he do that? Okay. He can meet us tomorrow. All right. Well, so he's putting us off. Um, He's putting us off just like they're putting off, you know, the the health treatment for um, for for most of their patients. Uh, so I mean, this is ridiculous. And um, what we need is we're going to stand in. We're gonna we're gonna sit in because we know they're not going to change. We know that they're not going to stop influencing the political process to 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 prevent real reform. We know that they're not really going to take care of their patients. Um, so I say we block the doors. I'm here today uh, for my mother who doesn't have any health insurance, who's one, uh, one health incident away from financial bankruptcy. I'm here for the over 60% of all Americans, and, and if you believe the New York Times CBS poll, that one uh, government-run system, as they say, a single-payer Medicare system for all Americans. And are you going to risk arrest? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. But I'm, I'm hoping United will meet our demands. United profits, people die. Thank you. 
Medicare for all. Patients, not profits. 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 Medicare for all. Medicare for all. Put him on the bumper. Put him on the bumper. Put his foot on the bumper. For all. And you get up.